What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people, welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I'm Glenn, aka the Geeky Heathen. Today I have an unboxing from Infinity Crates. It's just a brown box. They don't actually have any sort of packaging that I've seen since I've been with Infinity Crates. Just always send it in a plain brown box. But I know it's Infinity Crates. Also, October's box. Yeah, October's box. Like, almost at the end of the first week of November. It's the 9th today? I think it's the 9th. It's about that, it is. So, nine days into November, got October's box. We did send out an email saying they're having issues with their supplier, uh, Funko UK, and therefore everything's going to be late. And they've had an ongoing issue with their supplier for a long time now. So they're actually going to be changing their subscription boxes. This is just a standard crate. They also do a premium crate, which I used to subscribe to, because you get more goodies basically. You pay a bit, bit more of a rate and you get more items. Um, they said it could be up to two t-shirts and up to two pops, plus other, several other items. I found in the premium crates, I just get two t-shirts and one pop, and I went to Infinity Crates for the pops, so that's what I'll get a standard crate, at least I'll get guaranteed one pop, at least I know that. And they are changing their subscription service though due to supplier issues, so from next month's standard crate, the Funko Pop is not guaranteed. So they will still do Funko Pops in their boxes, but they're going to concentrate on some other franchises and different items and different figures as well, just so they can get the items shipped out on time. So it'll be interesting to see how they do time-wise, and see how many Funkos we get. Uh, only time will tell with that. But Infinity Crates UK, for those who are interested, I will leave in the description down below some affiliate links, uh, referral links, pricing, all that stuff down below. So if you're interested, you can click on one of the links down there and get yourself a box, or you can see what I get each month and see if you're interested in it. But geeky goodies delivered to your door, geeky items such as this amazing t shirt. How cool is that? I wore this when I went to see Venom, and everyone first of all, first glance was like, "Oh yeah, Venom." They're like, "Wait, DC?" I was like, "Yeah, it's Superman, Venom, Venom Man," as I like to call him. <laughs> I really like the T-shirt. I like the double take people do when they see it. Um, but apart from that, my favourite item in the box was not actually the Funko Pop from last month's box. My favourite item was. Are you ready? Did you guess it? Who guessed it? It's the mug, the Ready Player One, welcome to the Oasis, Ready Player One mug. I absolutely love this mug. Um, I haven't actually got to use it myself, my other half stole it from me as soon as it got unboxed, but I've got it back just to show you again. Uh, it's a nice mug, I actually really like that. I, I like nice mugs. Right now I'm, I'm Mr. Meme Seeks. Yeah, that's professional. Just have a sip of coffee in the middle of an unboxing. <laughs> but, on with the unboxing. To open this box up, we need the Dragon Sword. But once the box is open, this is what it's going to look like inside. They've hidden everything with a t shirt. They fold, yeah, they fold it over again. They do this, if you great. So they put the t-shirt in there and they just fold it up. So it's under the box, it's underneath everything, but they fold it over the top of everything. So you can't see. Oh, I see the Funko Pop straight away. I, let's see how Let me get on to this. The Funko Pop, let's go straight for that because I'm actually excited for this one. I haven't got this one. This is Pop Heroes Justice League Aquaman. Oh, I do like this. This is the only one from the set I've got, is this one. I haven't got any of these so far. Uh, I do collect them in the box, but as always, let's get out of the box and have a closer look. Wow, check this out. The detail on this Funko is amazing. I'm impressed that the trident's not 
uh, bend, if that makes sense. Most Funko Pops that have an item like a sword or a blade or something, they always tend to bend. Uh, but this, I like the detail of the armour. Anyone else excited for the Aquaman movie? I'm wary of it. I'm, I'm thinking, is it going to be a good DC movie? Come on, when's James Gunn going to get on board and sort out DC Universe? <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it, see what it's like. The trailers have me excited. As long as the CGI is okay in this movie. You know what I mean. But that's a nice item. Well, let's see what else we've got in this box. Uh, we've got... What is this? Pop. Space Invaders pop-up backpack. Folds out into a full-size backpack. This just looks like... Okay. So... This just looks like one of the little shopping bags. It's a cheap shopping bag. I mean, I'll, I'll use it. I suppose I could do with a shopping bag to stick it, to stick in my uh, car or in, or in my bag. So when I am out, if I do go shopping, I can pick something up. It's zip tied in. <laughs> really worried about that getting out, wouldn't I? <laughs> let's get this out. I'm going to use it anyway. So let's just hulk away into this thing. Oh, it's got a little uh, carabiner, carabiner. How do you pronounce these things? I, I don't go mountain climbing, and I don't think I would with one of these. It's a really cheap, nasty one. <laughs> but it's got one of these on there, so you can clip it to your bag, which is probably what I'm going to do. Clip it to my backpack, so I am out and about. At least I know I'll have a bag. So, uh, Space Invaders, zip on top. Oh. If I can open it. I'll zip inside as double zip. Okay, I see. So it is just a little backpack. It's got the little straps, so you can put it on if you want to. It's got a little front pocket there actually, which is the pocket that the bag zips itself into. So you could put something in the front pocket there, and then it's got this zip for the main pocket. It's not bad as little shopping bags as shopping bags go. It's not bad. It's Space Invaders. I don't know if you, skip, if you saw that or not. It just says Space Invaders all over it, and it's got the terribly pixelated little Space Invaders. Yeah, it's not a bad little item. It's an additional throwaway item, I suppose. I've never seen one before. It's nice. But what else have we got in here? So, huh. I've received one of these. In another box. What box did I get this in? I can't remember now. Comment down below if you watch that video. Let me know which video, which box I got this in. I'm confused. So this is just a green squishy emerald. So this is from Zelda, and they did different types. So they had the emerald squishy one. They had the heart squishy one. I think the Zelda shield had different ones. Um, I got the emerald one. Um, as you see, it's here. I keep it on my desk. So I'm um, reading some troll comments. It's like, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a nice item. It's another additional item is. Let's see what else we got. It looks like it's just a t-shirt. So I've got a card. Oh, I thought he was going to tell us what was in the box. It's just blank on one side, and the other side is Avengers: Infinity War. It's a nice little card. It's a strange size. You could, it's not really a, like a poster size, unless it's a small poster, it's like a little poster card. I suppose it'd be nice in a little frame. You could put it in a little frame and put it somewhere. So it's just one of these stock cards. Um, yeah, it's nice actually. It is nice. It's a bit strange the size of it, the little square size. But nice little card. And then on with the t shirt. Ooh, what have we got? What is this? Let's have a look. It's grey. I don't recognise this. Do I recognise this? Hmm. 
nightmare it says on there. This is from a Batman comic, isn't it? I recognise the look of this. Have I got this like Batman comic? Is it from the Zero Year comics? I'm not sure what it's from. I do recognise it. Again, comment down below, let me know what that's from. I'm pretty certain it's from Batman. I'm sure that... The more I look at it, the more it's starting to look very Joker-esque. I'm sure that is from a Batman... I think it's from a series I haven't read. But I'm pretty certain I've got the series in all my big pile of comics down there to read. Ooh, I might have to give it a read and then or flick through it, see if I can find that image. And I'd be like, yep, this is what it's from. If you have read it, comment down below, let me know what we're missing out on. That is, though, the end of the box. So, let's have a quick recap, see what we got in that box. Nightmare t-shirt, possibly Batman? Yeah. Stress, I'd say stress ball, but it's not a ball. The stress Emerald Legend of Zelda. Avengers Infinity War little poster card. Space Invaders pop-up backpack. It's a little shopping bag, really. The piece of the resistance, is that, is, is that correct? I don't know French. The, the main item from the box. The Funko Pop of Aquaman. That is the end of the box. Yeah, you know what, it's, it's an okay box. Um, I got what I wanted out of the box, which is a t-shirt and a Funko Pop, and then anything else is kind of additional it is to me. That pretty much pays the price of the box it does. And then they throw a few extra items in. The shopping bag, it can't, it's, it's not a bad item. I, I'm actually quite impressed with it. It's, it's a lot better than I thought it would, an item I would have got. The stress cube is a little stress thing. That's, that's an additional item. And this, as nice as it is, it's just a little card. I'm probably not going to use it. But I'm going to keep it out for a while because it's going to annoy me that I've got a little card but nowhere to put it. <laughs> um, I am interested to see how this box goes on going forward if they're not going to concentrate on Funko Pops because that was the main draw of this box was the Funko Pop. So they're still doing the premium crates where you are guaranteed a Funko Pop. But I don't really know if I want to go to a premium crate. I just wanted the standard crate where I get one pop, one t-shirt. That was enough for me to get my little pop fix for the month. Um, favourite item? Comment down below. Let me know what your favourite item is. And... Uh, Join me for next month's box. I'll let you know what mine is. I am very intrigued to see how this box is going to get on without guarantee the Funko Pops. Because if they do just throw in little items like this, like a few more items like this instead of a Funko, I'm probably not going to be that interested in the box. If they do throw in like a, another figure, be it a Q fig or one of their own make, or even like a Hasbro figure, some of the actual nice figures, or a nice model. Um, I'll be interested in it. Or maybe any other clothing item. Some snapbacks or something. Maybe they could do that. I quite like snapbacks myself. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see how they get on and what these boxes turn out like. But if you're new here and you want to see more geeky unboxings or general geeky videos by me, Geeky Heathen, why well, not subscribe down below? And whilst you're there, don't forget to smash that bell icon so you can be notified each and every time I upload. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Uh, I'm Geeky Heathen. Until next time, dudes. Take care. Bye.